Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lieutenant Hall. Hopefully you guys is having a great day. Go ahead and do me a favor. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave any comments down below. All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to briefly discuss on um, some things, some do's and don'ts, um, especially if you're working in the retail, doing security, or in a shopping mall. In this, in, in this scenario, I'm going to deal specifically with you dealing with gang activity, uh, gang fighting inside of the, um, the location. Well, number one, if you got sharp eyes and ears and you're well experienced and you know what to look out for, it's not going to take you long to figure out that, okay, this is gang activity. You know, you have large groups of people, they, they throwing up gang signs, you know, they waving flags. So the first thing you want to do, of course, you want to go ahead and contact your local authorities. Don't hesitate at all. It doesn't matter if you're wrong, contact the local authorities and get them there. Now, when you contact your local authorities, you want to say that, um, you know, gang activity or fight or whatever's going on, you want to say that it's in progress. That way, your local authorities will respond a little quicker to get there to help you. Now, like I said, nine times out of 10, you're not going to be wrong. But let's just say you are wrong. It's better to be safe than sorry. So please first thing first contact your local authorities immediately now one thing you don't want to do you don't want to get yourself too close or involved in a situation if it's a big old gang you know rival gangs fighting or whatever what can you do in that situation nine times out of ten you're outnumbered so you don't want to get involved with that situation you know you know your safety and the safety of others uh, is very very important and it's very vital so contact the local authorities, contact your superior, which is your supervisor, your director or whatever. Um, following that, they are going to contact the management of the retail place or the mall or whatever. And, and, and it's a certain protocol they're going to follow. Nine times out of 10, if it's that bad, uh, obviously when you're dealing with gangs, you know it's gonna be guns involved. If it's that bad, nine times out of 10, they're gonna close the location down um, until the authorities get there and get the situation under control. So hesitation is something that you definitely don't wanna do. You wanna be quick and you wanna be on it. You wanna be sharp as a knife, you know what I mean? So, um, so that's something that you wanna do. So like I said, you don't wanna intervene. If those guys are fighting or whatever, you don't wanna be trying to break it up or nothing like that. You know, Just wait for the authorities to get there, but you do want to keep a close eye on those guys. You and your team wanna to communicate together and um, you know you need to have some people paying closely attention to the gang activity, you know, and you need to have full descriptions, you know, write that stuff down in your dark. You know, you want to have full descriptions of these guys, you know, what they look like, what they wear, you know, weapons, location, different things they are saying, you know, um, if you have an idea of what gang they may be uh, affiliated with, you know, all that information, you know, you know, you want to be, you want to have it all, you know what I mean? So um, make sure you have that. Um, and then if you are going to shut down, you want to start letting the other vendors know you know the other workers know you know they all should have a protocol that they follow as far as in um evacuating if uh something like that was to happen so you want to start um um uh, enforcing that you know telling these guys hey close your gates lock your doors you know close it down you know um and like i said they all have their own protocols on what they will follow you know a lot of times in retail and in shopping malls a lot of these stores have like back doors when they can exit or whatever so if that kind of activity is going on inside the mall and it's safe to do so a lot of times you will you know like i said let them shut down and uh you know exit the building you know until the authorities uh get there or whatever so um like i said you don't want to get involved you know, you don't want to try to be Superman and go out there and get yourself killed. You know, you want to monitor the situation, you know, stay in close contact with each other and authorities, because like I said, your safety is very important and the people around you, you know, there's no point of innocent people losing their lives because you're trying to be Superman or whatever. So, um, that's what you want to do in that situation. Um, and it actually happened, uh, recently at one of the locations where I work and, um, I think the team did a pretty good uh, job at communicating with each other, uh, staying sharp, you know, keeping our eyes on the guys, not getting too close to them, 
not really engaging with them too much because you don't want to upset them guys and they turn on you and start blasting you. So you don't really want to engage with them too much or anything like that. Just watch. Trust me when I tell you this, guys. You just want to watch them. Pay close attention. You know, watch them. Stay your distance. You know, um, and, you know, be safe. Be smart at the end of the day because you want to live to see another day, you know. You want to go back home to your family at the end of the day. So you have to be smart in that situation, guys. So, anyway, it's just brief. You know, I didn't go too deep into details or whatever, but just a brief summary of what you want to do. You know, if you're dealing with, like, you know, rival gangs fighting at one of your locations. So, like I said, be smart, be safe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.